Hey, 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 it's Grips, and as always, yep, you did it again, you joined me. All right, so this is a quick overview on the Adorage filter and the Vitacene filter. So it's not a complete in-depth tutorial how to use each, but realistically, I think once I've covered just the overview, you'll, you'll get a basic understanding and just how simple it is. All right, so let's get cracking on this. So first off, I'm just going to add in two clips. It can be clips, photos, or whatever it is that you're trying to do. So we're going to try and create a transition from one clip to the next. Okay. Now, you may notice that if I go in the FX filter, uh, if I go into the ProDAT section, I have all the ProDAT filters here, and I've got the Vitacene and the new one in version 8, a Dorage. So, but we're adding a transition, so realistically, I need to go into the uh, transition options, right? Correct. So here we go. It's exactly the same thing. If I open it all up, you'll see here a ProDAT section, and here I have my two uh, transition filters from Adorage and Vitacene. So let's add in the Vitacene first, because a lot of people have been asking me how to use Vitacene, and it doesn't work. That's because you're not going into the transition sections if you are using it for a transition. All right, so just cl double click so that this brings up your transition windows, then you can go into the customize, and here it is. So let's go up in the folders. If I use this one, it just basically brings it up to one level up, or what previous folder. Okay, so you've got two groups here, the filter group and the transition group. So you're doing a transition, so go into the transition group. So here we go, we've got then subfolders, and it's very clear what each does. Shape, wipes, classic effects, ripple, so it almost tells you what they do. So you can go into that folder, and then you see all the different types of effects that this classic effect has to offer. Now, when you select the one that you like, you can do double click, and that brings it up, or you can use this arrow to apply it. And if you do a preview, it tells you or shows you exactly what the transition will look like. You could then have the option of going into this section here in the filter groups, and then you can change the length and the height and the intensity or whatever it is. This is all your attributes on how to change the effect. So if you don't like the effect, well, then you can change it to the way you like it. So let's have a look at another effect and play that. There you go. So you can see that the transition goes fairly fast, so you can then shorten or lengthen the filter. And that basically is how you would use the Vitacene transition filters in your projects. Now, once you have the transition you like, you can go up to this little icon up here that looks like a plug, click on it once, and then this will apply that very transition to your project. Okay. Now, the exact same thing or the same method is for the Adorage. So if I want to remove this, I just click left-click on it once and then press Delete. So now I can add the Adorage group as well, double click, customs filter, and here we go. Now, it works slightly different. Um, if I expand this, this is my starter pack. If you go over to uh, ProDad, you'll see that they'll offer a lot more packages that you can add to Adorage, which gives you uh, lots of variety to work with, okay? But uh, here we just get the standard starter pack, nothing fancy. So let's have a look at here, driven. You'll see it's like a beam me up type effect. Now to customize these ones, very, very simple. I would just go into the overlay tab, click on it once, and that brings up all the attributes. And then from here, you can still go into the uh, video A and video B, what it is, if that's what you wanna do. I will quickly show you what video A and B does. Um, I'm actually, I'm jumping ahead. I can close this and I can also do it this way. All right, so no matter which one I click on it, it'll open up that window. So let's just go to video A. So here's the effect on video A, but I can move the effect as well. So you have lots of options of adjusting each and individual effect, starting position, so forth. Now, I'm only doing an overview on how to apply this. I might do a later on tutorial more in depth on how to use the Adorage filter. And again, I'm just doing uh, how to apply it because that seems to be the most common issue. Now, once I'm happy with my transition, I press OK, and there you go. So now I can see how that transition works. Okay, so that looks pretty cool, right? So for those people who keep asking me, like, why can't I do the transition? Because you're going it about the wrong way. You're going it from the FX filters when you should be going it from the transition filters, okay? Very easy. All right, so let's have a look how we use it in the FX filters option. So Control-N. No, I don't want to save this project. 
Now, if you do follow me on Facebook, you saw this little demo I did a while back. No. Nope. All right, so if you do follow me on Facebook, you'll saw this little clip that I did, the uh, cloning effect. Now, I did some uh, color grading here using the Vitacine filter, and I'll show you what I did. If I go into FX filters, go into the ProDad section, so if you scroll down, you'll see ProDad, and then you'll see Vitacine, you apply this to your clip. Double click, Customs Filter. Okay, so here we go. Let's go back up one, uh, one folder back. Remember I said to you, you've got transition groups and filter groups. Well, now we're going to go into the filter group. So again, we click in it, we get subfolders, and then we can click on that, and then we get more options. Now, let's say I want to use this type of uh, effect, or the sepia. And look, I can now see how the, the color affects the, the film. I can suspend it, so I can see the original footage, like so. Let me... Uh, shrink this a little bit because it's huge, right? <laughs> All right, now what I can do here is I then can go into the attributes panels here and the filter. So you've got color adjustments, brightness, contrast, uh, and saturation. So I now have more options to color grade my footage. And I think that's pretty neat if I'm looking for a special effect or a different look to my film that, say, the color fast filter can't give me. So I can use the Vita scene then to colorize or color grade my project. Now, the same way, if I like it, I press apply, and then you'll see that it has applied this new look to my footage. So, Vitacene can be used very effectively to enhance or color grade your footage, and I really, really like that, and it's very quick and simple to use, therefore, it is cool. Let's get rid of that one and apply the Adorage. So, now, the Adorage works the same way, so double click, Customs Filter. But the thing is, it, it applies it to the whole clip because you can't go from clip A to B because there is only one clip. So let's use the, uh, the effect again. So realistically, what you're going to do is just, you're just applying this effect on your clip. It doesn't do anything else. It doesn't transition, does it? It just creates this neat looking uh, effect. But again, you can go in here and then start changing the, the way it looks. So you may want to add... I don't know, there, I saw one that looked like a, a skeleton walking, or an airline, there you go. So now I'm gonna get this airline going across my footage. And if this is something that you want, well, there you go. You have this option of creating some effects on your clip. And again, if you go to ProDad, you can download or you can buy a whole bunch of packages that could be really useful to what your project needs. And then if you like it, you press OK, and then I'm gonna get a really cheesy looking airplane going <laughs> across my footage. So there you go, my friends. It's just a quick overview of how to apply the Adorage and the Vitacine filter. And as always, thanks for watching.